Well, it is now official. Former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish announcing she will run for governor, holding a campaign event in Waukesha County earlier today. CBS 58's Capitol correspondent Emily Fannin has more on her message to voters. I today announce I am running for governor of the great state of Wisconsin. Rebecca Clayfish made her pitch to supporters at Western States Envelope Company in Waukesha County by aligning herself with President Donald Trump and bashing her Democratic opponent, Tony Evers, as a weak leader. Been absolutely infuriated watching Tony Evers pick winners and losers in our economy. That is weak leadership. That is incompetence and that is the chaos that has resulted. If elected, Clayfish would be the first female governor in Wisconsin and would also help Republicans pass their agenda that has been blocked by Evers. She promised to hire more police officers, ban critical race theory in schools, and vowed to sign GOP election bills. As I've said it before, we will pass those bills again. The new governor will sign those bills and she will sign them on day one. Democrats were quick to criticize Clayfish, calling her record radical. Rebecca Clayfish has fully embraced radical extremism, from spreading misleading information about COVID-19 and vaccines to buying into conspiracy theories about the 2020 election. Tony Evers' campaign also weighed in on Clayfish's announcement in a statement saying it's unfortunate that she's going forth with radical rhetoric instead of finding solutions to bring Wisconsin together. In Madison, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.